Hi, well, uh, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Our uh, topic of uh, discussion is uh, electrophoresis, which is a very valuable uh, technique in cell biology and molecular biology. Let us see about this. So, the, it will have uh, a kit of uh, gel, uh, the well plates and the electrodes. So, it will appear like this. So, there will be uh, a buffer solution and the gel will be running in this and the components uh, will be separated based on the size and the charge. So, electrophoresis is uh, carried by electricity. It is the migration of charged particles under the influence of electric field at a definite pH. In a mixture of proteins, each protein with its electric charge will move differentially uh, in an electric field. The electrophoretic mobility depends upon the the strength of the electric field, the net charge achieved on the molecule, size and shape of the molecule. The electrophoresis, it, it is very useful uh, for analysis of large molecules such as uh, proteins and uh, nucleic acids and even simpler uh, molecules can be separated uh, such as peptides and simpler ions. Let us see the types of uh, electrophoresis. Majorly, it is of uh, two types. Uh, one is capillary electrophoresis and uh, zone electrophoresis. The zone electrophoresis is uh, subdivided into paper electrophoresis and gel electrophoresis. Actually, very widely used is uh, gel electrophoresis. There are different types of uh, gel electrophoresis such as cellulose acetate, uh, gel acetate, uh, gel electrophoresis, agarose gel electrophoresis, uh, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and sodium dodecyl sulfate uh, page. In among these agros gel electrophoresis and uh, SDS page are very widely used. Even though they are older methods, still now they are used. Let us see the applications of electrophoresis. Actually, uh, the different components uh, will give uh, the, uh, if you elute them, they give uh, the, uh, the quantity depends. It gives uh, a uh, differential uh, peaks. Based on this, the components can be the reference with the reference compounds the actual components can be test components can be compared it is useful in uh, hepatic cirrhosis nephrotic syndrome alpha 1 uh, antitrypsin deficiency which occurs in emphysema acute and chronic inflammatory conditions immunoglobulin deficiency multiple myeloma so all these are uh, could be detected based on the electrophoretic mobilities let us see agarose gel electrophoresis first. So, the, comp the gel contains uh, agarose. The concentration is uh, 0.5 to 2%. It is useful for separation of uh, DNA and RNA uh, greater than uh, 2000 base pairs and proteins uh, greater than 500 uh, kilo daltons. The, uh, let us see the factors affecting the mobility of uh, DNA. They are the molecular size of the DNA, concentration of uh, the agarose gel, Confirmation of the DNA and uh, applied current, uh, which is uh, uh, it is around uh, 5 to 8 uh, volt uh, per centimeter. If it is greater than that, uh, it decreases the resolution. Um, uh, in agarose gel electrophoresis, the, some of the problems encountered is uh, edgy effect because in the middle of the gel, uh, it will be having uniform uh, electric current and uh, pH, but at the edges, it will have a uh, a yeah, differential uh, pH and uh, the charges which creates the edge effect it has to be taken care of. Uh, the polyacrylamide uh, gel electrophoresis it will have uh, a polymer of uh, uh, acrylamide uh, in a suitable buffer. The polymerization of acrylamide and fis acrylamide is achieved by a free radical reaction promoted by N N N N tetramethyl methylene diamine which is called temerd and this free radical process is initiated by ammonium persulfate which is used in the gel it is useful for separation of uh, dna and rna uh, greater than uh, 2000 base pairs and uh, proteins greater than 500 kilo daltons the weight of the cross linker and proportion of the cross linker are the factors which influence the separation of components of a mixture let us see the systems of uh, gel electrophoresis. They are uh, horizontal uh, gel electrophoresis. 
where it uh, travels from uh, left to right and uh, next is uh, vertical uh, gel electrophoresis it travels from uh, top to bottom uh, the buffer systems uh, used in uh, gel electrophoresis are two types one is continuous and discontinuous uh, buffer systems the continuous buffer systems uh, contain same buffer in the gel and the electrode uh, reservoir uh, the gel is uh, homogeneous uh, in concentration uh, but it has it is of low resolution technique it is used when the protein or nucleic acid concentration is uh, greater than 1 mg per ml uh, the next most widely used system is a discontinuous uh, buffer system uh, one of the model is uh, onstein and uh, davis model uh, it will appear uh, like this so it will have two types of uh, gels one is uh, stacking gel and next one is uh, resolving gel uh, the differential buffers are used in the gel and the electrode chamber it is a high resolution technique as i said uh, two gels are used uh, stacking gel which is of uh, low concentration having larger pores and resolving gel has high con is of high concentration and uh, smaller pores the principle is uh, the sample is applied in the stacking gel which has uh, minimum uh, sieving properties the sample uh, then it is stacked in between the buffer systems of the gel and the electrode when the sample enters the resolving gel region the sieving becomes uh, predominant and the components of the sample are separated by the size and the charge the very widely used method is uh, sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis commonly called as sds page so it is a electrophoretic technique very commonly used in biochemistry molecular biology and forensic science it was first discovered by lamely in the year 1970 but after 50 years still now this technique is, uh, dominates in scientific research so it will appear like this the sample will be applied at the top of the gel which contains the buffer then it migrates and the components are separated using a, the dyeing technique called the kumasi blue technique staining sts page is similar to onstein davis model including stacking gel resolving gel and the electrode buffer the unique difference is uh, sds page uh, it contains excess of sodium dodecyl sulfate is added to the protein uh, sample to denature them sds page uh, protein sample is heated so that the proteins are separated into smaller peptides then the peptides are coated with uh, negatively charged uh, sodium dodecyl sulfate then the charged particles are separated based on their size this method is useful for determination of molecular weight of proteins so the rf is calculated by distance traveled by the sample divided by distance traveled by the tracking dye uh, let us see the two dimensional uh, electrophoresis uh, uh, let us take the protein sample first uh, the based on the vertically the sample will be loaded it travels from higher ph to lower ph uh, it but the, it is uh, the components they get uh, stacked by the isoelectric uh, focusing so it is a separation uh, first separation by the based on the charge so the it may be vertical also it may be horizontal also from low ph to high ph or high ph to low ph can be used for isoelectric focusing and then the apply gel uh, this gel is applied to the top of the second gel so it will uh, have one horizontal and one vertical uh, based on the differentiation in the ph so the second separation is based on the size the first separation is based on the charge whereas the second separation is based on the size so here sds is used so this technique is called sds electrophoresis or sds page so the separation will appear like this so it will separate into different components let us see the detection methods the different uh, dyes are used for the detection for nucleic acids uh, such as a dna or rna uh, two dyes are used one is ethidium uh, bromide which is a fluorescent dye and the next one is uh, methylene blue and for the detection of uh, proteins uh, kumasi brilliant blue uh, silver staining or uh, copper staining uh, are the dyes which are used for the separation let us see the isolation of nucleic acids or proteins from electrophoresis after the gel runs so one technique is a passive diffusion 
the gel uh, actually runs separates uh, electric based on the electrical field the which is applied on the well loaded with the sample then the components are separated they are cut into gels different bands are cut into slices such as, such as uh, in the diagram we can see a b are this c are the different components each slice is uh, dissolved in a separate buffer if the gel used is agarose agarase can be used to break the bonds of the agarose and the, which is heated at 65 degree centigrade if the gel used is uh, polyacryl amide it is uh, separated crushed and uh, the gel is crushed in a mortar and a pestle for separation which separates into free fragments then the it is used for collection of dna or the rna fragments the next technique is uh, electrofusion it is uh, very similar to the previous technique uh, which we discussed uh, that, that is uh, the passive diffusion the components are separated they are cut uh, into slices the gels are cut into slices and the here the electrical field is again applied the gel uh, it is uh, fixed in a box containing the buffer and uh, the electrocution is the technique applied uh, electrical field is applied on it so the buffer solution collected and precipitated for obtaining the components the next uh, technique is uh, continuous elution the gel for separation that is a b or c bands are separated in appropriate uh, buffer and uh, they are allowed to run continuously uh, they can be separated individually so it is a short information of uh, gel electrophoresis and the techniques which are applied i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel for further updates thank you